Hello everyone. Today I'm doing a quick little tutorial video on how to properly UV map your decals. Uh, this also usually works for if you're bringing something from Giant Setter back to Blender to fix the UV maps if they were done properly in the first place. Uh, but we'll jump into it here. Um, so yeah, I just got this mocked up a quick versatile decal for the cab on my Volvo. Um, now what seen lots of people do in the past and it really looks terrible to me and I'm sure you'll agree in my demonstration here I'll jump over to giant setter I just exported this and uh, a lot of people used to do is just a generic uh, dirt texture 22 they don't have that anymore base game but this fake water specular it looks about the same as what people used to use is the generic dirt texture for the decals um, but as you can see, when we make it dirty, the decal just turns completely brown and dirty. And it looks terrible. Um, so I'm just going to show you a way to uh, that do a better UV map. Now, obviously, a simple square decal like this, you could just start with the cab already, but, or just cut, you know, clone the cab and just cut out the piece. But for this, we're just doing it this way, just for simplicity. Uh, so we'll hop back to Blender here. Um, so yeah, we got the decal. It's just a little bit off of the cab there. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a second UV map. Uh, and then you're going to come down here to your modifiers. We're going to add a data transfer modifier. Set the object to the cab. That's where we want to pull the data from. We're going face corner data. You want to check, you want to go UVs, down here to UVs. Now from the truck, I guess we have three UVs on there for some reason, uh, which we don't need, but we'll, we will map it to our second one. Now to test, make sure I've got this set to the specular or V-mask texture already. We will just switch this to that. So as you can see there, that looks quite, well, I'm not sure where it's pulling that from, but anyway, we got that there. Oh yes, it is pulling from there, but we need to change our settings here. There we go. Now you can see it kind of matches up. Coloring's a little different, um, but if we say move it there you can see it pulls from there or if we go let's just go in this view here it's pulling however obviously that joint it's going to get a little funky but it's pulling the texture from behind there so yeah we'll just run through this a second time just in case you missed it so you got to set your source to the model or object behind your decal Face corner data, UVs, nearest face interpolated. I think you maybe can play around with those. I think I usually use one of the interpolated ones just because your decal is not obviously the same size. That's why when it was on this, it's pulling from the door handle and this over here. Leave it on that and then setting your UVs to map it to your second one. And we can apply our modifier. Come down here. Now, if you're using normal maps, um, you're going to want to also create a third one, the clone of the first. So as you can see, they're both there. And then this is our decal one there. So we got that all set up. I'm just going to set my texture back to that. Blank money because I'm on that. There we go. Then we will export it quick here. We'll take it into Giants Editor. Uh, Volvo. Volvo. There we go. Let's make our original one invisible. And now we will set up our textures. Ah. Uh, in the wrong mod. Okay, I gotta go this way. 
Volvo textures. So we are using cab V mask, and also cab normal on here. And there we go. Oh, and then one other step is your variation UV mask to UV normal or normal UV three. And as you can see, the dirt is seamless that you can't even tell the decals there. The dirt blends in perfectly. So it's a way to make your decals look a lot better. If you haven't already been doing this on your mods, I highly recommend it. Um, or, you know, if it's just a refresher on how to do things or, you know, another way to do things if you've never done it this way. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully this helps improve any mods going forward from you.